it's friday how is it going are you happy or you are just healing from the breakup <laughs> oh my word a very good evening to you my name is eric and this is eric stories thank you for choosing to hang out with me again i appreciate you yo you know you'd be anywhere else in the world eh? but here you are spending your precious uh 10 or is it 14 minutes with me i don't take it lightly listen have you followed me on uh instagram and have you subscribed to my YouTube channel? I promise you there's so much more where that came from. If you think you got something, there's tons coming your way. Um, also on uh, Twitter, and guess what? I've made sure that all of my DMs are open. So if you want to slide in there, it's Friday. It's always a good time to just unwind. I try much as I can to reply to all the messages. If I haven't responded to any of your quests or even uh, a thought, please send it again could be it I went via some place and it hasn't reached me but I make it a habit to respond to everything and anything even criticism don't just you know hold off if you think there's something we can do you and I to make Eric's stories better it's more than welcome I promise I'm quite cordial I'm not gonna go like you do your yo, 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 yo. No, no 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 in fact I think people grow better when they are criticized but positive criticism don't be there like your nose is so hey 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 because I can't change that right or you have a big forehead, I, I cannot change that either. <laughs> if you are going through a breakup, let me tell you a quick story. Yo, so this one time, I got dumped and I could barely sleep. I could barely sleep. You know how you start thinking in your mind that you've lost the most important human being in your life? And sometimes it's true. We feel that about people you are once in love with. But it's not entirely true. So I was thinking about how... There are days in my years of yore where some relationship ended and I thought, oh my goodness, am I going to make it out alive? And I know men are sort of brought up to not show because it's weak to show. So stoicism, stoicism. But they feel hurt. I do feel hurt. I'm sure other friends of mine do feel hurt. They share that they feel hurt. So supposing uh, you're going through a breakup. You know, it's Friday and they become lengthier. Weekends become so boring, especially if you're just you know, starting your breakup. Maybe he or she announced yesterday, they dropped the bombshell and said, you know, Timothy, I ain't feeling it. I don't want to keep lying to you. I met this Nigerian guy and there's something about his generous banana that makes me so happy. So I don't want to double deal. So from tonight, hence, I've blocked you. Move on with your life and thanks. <laughs> All right. So um, I want to share some tips on how to get over a breakup. At least things I've done in the past and from a lot of my reading that I think come in handy if you are going through a breakup or someone you know is hurting, uh, you could, you know, tag them so that they don't uh, do something stupid as uh, drinking a whole bottle of something and maybe not waking up tomorrow, or waking up with a very nasty hangover. One of the things I think it's important Important that somebody who's going through a breakup should do and has a lot of supporting from not just myself but even psychologists you have to make sure that any thoughts you have about your ex are realistic and balanced we have a tendency to lean so much towards the good part so we give our exes a star role in our lives all of a sudden their hips are the biggest and the bestest and you will never meet a woman with such hips that's a lie so maybe you want to balance that off with the way they used to be moody, you know? You remember that one time you're trying to cuddle because your uncle died and she kept pushing you off the bed? Think about that also. <laughs> you have to balance this stuff. Don't give them a star role in your life, all right? You want to balance this thing. You remember the other time she lied to you or he cheated you? He said he's going to come take you out on the weekend. And then you discovered some receipts. He wasn't all that in a bag of chips. You know. You know he was not. <laughs> so, a healthy way to think about them, even as you're missing them and you're mourning the relationship, is to have a realistic and balanced approach. Yes, they were good. They had a lot of bad as well. That can help you have a sensible way of thinking things through. So, one of the things I did in my past relationships, those that were hurting the most... And they don't all hurt the same. Uh, so I'm not here talking to you from a place. Of course, every relationship is very different. Maybe you dated for seven years, you proposed and even met your parents. And even maybe you have a child. 
that's not the same as having dated for a year in campus. So people hurt differently. But you could write down a list of why the relationship did not work. Be realistic. Say everything in the list. She was always moody can be one of them. She was very rude can be another. She was perpetually uncommunicative. She was taciturn about everything. Write that stuff down. Or he didn't have money or a job and used to borrow money from you. That's a good thing to write down. You don't want to baby the man, all right? That is one of the things that would not have made the relationship worth the while even if you had stayed together. Money was a problem and he wasn't picking up his weight, all right? He was a lousy lay. Write it down. He was a poor kisser. He used to lick your nostrils. You don't want that in a serious relationship. <laughs> or he beat your tongue. Write that stuff down. It goes a long way. Now, we've talked about this, but I think it was such a, a, a point of relief for me when I learned that while the breakup seems sudden to you, the dumped, the dumper has probably been emotionally disengaged for a very long time. When you know that, you become better. In fact, uh, the last time I shared this in one of our stories, somebody wrote and said that... Uh, he, it was so funny, I laughed for days. He said he uh, left the woman he was in a relationship with in his mind and heart. And he even healed properly and completely. <laughs> and then now he announced that he wants a breakup. Can you imagine? And he said all of that process took about a year. Yes. So you, the dumps, you're getting shocked because, oh, oh my goodness, why is he leaving? But here he was. He was leaving you and healing. And now he's completely healed and has a fully fledged relationship with somebody else. And you're thinking, he just left me like that. No, he didn't. He left you a long time ago. That really does help. By the time the breakup is uh, happening, they've essentially resolved, healed, gotten over you. And he has all the confidence and she has all the confidence to come and tell you, you know what, it's done. They healed in 1999. <laughs> all right. Um, some of the ways to also go about it, do not check up on them on social media. This just reinforces your ex's um, presence in your life and mind. It's an exercise in futility. If you could just uh, completely shove anything that is a reminder about them away, you know, block them if that is something you can do. I know you've crammed both their three numbers. But if you could just use the time to hang out with your friends, people are important, people who love you, people who love you, people who appreciate you, family and friends, that goes a long way. But if you kept checking up on them again, you are putting them up on a pedestal, which they are not deserving of. Remember the vast away from the relationship. They don't want you, boo-boo, they don't. They do not want you. As I keep saying, sometimes you are not who the other person needs or wants, and that's just okay. So don't check up on their gram. Refreshing and stuff like That's sad. You could use that time and that, um, you know, use that breath to cool your porridge instead. Avoid creating mysteries about why the breakup happened. Oh boy, don't we do this? This will give your ex, again, a big starring role in your life. You know, like, oh my goodness, supposing I wasn't late, maybe he wouldn't have left me. Or supposing I had have taken her out for dinner or bought her that phone she wanted. Or maybe bought her the dress she had once asked for. Maybe she wouldn't have left me. No, 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 no. People have very many reasons for leaving you. Uh, oftentimes, you are the least amongst the reasons. They found somebody better. They want to pursue other things in their lives. They don't see a future with you. And it's fine and it's okay. So what do you do? You don't start pity partying about the things you ought to have done. There's possibly nothing you'd have done for them to stay. They were meant to leave. And when people decide to walk out of your life, you know, let them walk. Let them walk. Somebody else is going to come around. Yes. Also, make a list of all the compromises, all right, you had to make in the relationship that you'd rather not make the next time. You know the way you really used to want to hang out with your girls, but you'd kiss them, chum, goodbye, and just go hang out with him in his very boring cold house? That is uh, something to write down. You'll be like, you know what? I should have kicked it with my girls more. You know the way you took a loan, Joshua, 
for her, you know, and now you're still paying for the loan, but she's left you. Maybe that should make it your compromise list so that you don't make such a stupid decision in the future because of L-O-V-E. Especially if you're doing it so that they stay connected to you. That is even more making it further foolish. All right? So make a list. This helps. It goes a long way. Say, I'm never going to compromise this. I'm never going to compromise this. There are people I know who even compromise things like, um, you know, uh, giving up. I read about a lady who gave up her car because the guy was saying that he's uncomfortable without driving that kind of a car. Can you imagine? And some even moved to the village so that the guy feels like you're behind him, but I'd rather below him nicely. If you're given to love like that so that you forgo your dreams and ambitions, maybe that should make up on your not to compromise list for the next relationship. Remove and delete all reminders of the relationship that cause you distress or pain, such as texts or photographs. Go to your gallery and completely abort all that stuff. When you're <laughs> in Watamu, delete it. All right? Just, you know, I hear that women, upon shaving their hairs, that is sort of like a sign that things have changed or maybe changing their hairstyle or changing their um, appearance. So whatever it is that will make you move on, and away from that foolishness, the better. Okay? Reach out to your friends for support. Because uh, everybody has their own words of wisdom to offer. And even some trusted older person who's gone through something similar to yours. Don't be drastic. Some people make such permanent decisions uh, during a temporary problem. Like every time I think about my exes and the relationship I was in, I was just, so why were you being such a wuss? Like, that was nothing. Have you met life? Life is serious. <laughs> so don't, don't build a whole pyramid over something so small. You know, somebody has left you. C'est la vie, all right? Slowly go back to doing the things that bring you enjoyment. You know, you are a whole human being uh, with infinite possibilities. If you like playing chess, go back to that again. Pool again. If you enjoy a drink with your friends, go back to that again. Don't let one individual relationship define your entire essence. Because you're more than just one thing. And you're more than just one relationship. You are a sister, a mother sometimes, an aunt, all right, a brother, an uncle. You are all those things. So yes, it's painful. But, you know, let it go. What other tip would you add? Have a lovely weekend. I'll speak to you again on Monday by God's grace. And God bless you. All right? <laughs> Good evening.